Laser cast is a spot on way to see all your casting faults. And everything is included to easily and safely fasten laser cast to your fly rod. I am fully confident that laser cast will assist you in becoming a better single and two handed fly caster. First, position yourself a minimum of eight feet in front of the wall that you are facing to allow for full arm extension and a straight plane during your forward cast. Stand between 42 and 70 inches from the side wall of your cast. This allows for maximum and fluid body rotation, which helps create accurate and powerful casts. Now let's get started with some correct casting techniques. Take notes of the relaxed hands required in your two-handed casting. Notice the smooth lift and rotation leading into my straight forward cast. Now in slow motion, watch the smooth lift and rotation of the rod to my forward cast, straight forward to my finish point up and away. By added rod length, you will gain distance and performance. Notice now how the top hand will allow the rod to slide and add length to the rod. Now if you can see the motions of how a snake roll is performed. Now in slow motion, you will see the steps of the snake roll, which is an advanced single spay. Also, notice during the horizontal part of the cast, you'll see a slight dip and then again a lift, which helps elevate the line off the water, gives it a kick, and then goes straight into your forward cast for powerful, accurate distances. Again, position yourself properly as earlier recommended. The dynamic half heart shaped cast, better known as the C or D cast, depending on which side of the river you're on, is an excellent way to set up your anchor point for your forward cast. In slow motion, notice the half heart shape, the hip rotation, and the smooth forward cast. Next are the aggressive scanty forward casts. Notice the hard pull of my bottom hand, pulling the rod across and down from my body and pointing up in the far corner for accurate, powerful cast. The Scandi cast is great for all windy conditions. Now the single spay in slow motion. Up, over and around, rotate, dip, lift, straight forward cast and accurate. With laser casts, create positive muscle memory with visual repetition. Notice the relaxed grip even on a single handed rod. Notice how I smoothly sweep the rod to the one o'clock position. A relaxed body with smooth hip rotation will enhance any casts. The single handed snake roll is the identical motion as the two handed snake roll with the dip and the lift and the straight forward cast. Along with the smooth body rotation, notice the slight break in the wrist, which is necessary to complete all your single hand casts. Now in slow motion, watch the body, the arms, the break in the wrist and the forward cast, how smooth and, and effortless single hand casting can be. Now in slow motion, notice the snake roll cast with a single handed rod which is very similar to that of the two-hander. Advance your single hand casting by understanding and learning some of the dynamics of the two-handed casts. This will by far make your single hand casting much more powerful. By breaking the wrist too much, notice the large arc in the forward cast as pictured by the blue laser dot. This casting fault creates large loops with little to no line speed, resulting in poor and sloppy casts that will also crash the water behind you. 
Now in slow motion, notice one of the many casting faults I see on the river on a near daily basis. Watch the incorrect flattening of the rod during the back cast, the dip during the forward cast, and the rod crossing your body in a downward motion during that forward cast. These motions and others result in disastrous casts. I am quite confident with competent instruction that you will be able to achieve the casting you are hoping to with the aid of laser cast and in the comfort of your own home. Notice how during my forward cast my arm comes down and across in front of my body creating a looping and a crashing cast every time. Now in slow motion watch the dot and the rod go up and around over my head. That is sure to grab your ear when that line comes by. Again, up and around and the dot comes up over my head and then down. Dangerous and ineffective cast. Prior to using laser cast or any teaching aids, there must be a fundamental understanding of correct and incorrect casting motions. Laser cast is most effective once you have the basic understanding for the correct and incorrect casting motions. A comprehensive lesson with the spade doctor may be necessary for you to know these casting motions and to utilize laser cast to its maximum effectiveness. Now you can be on your way in becoming the single and two-handed fly caster you want to be. How to easily and safely attach laser cast to your favorite rod. Included with laser cast are three strips of uh, tape that only sticks to itself. It's stretchy and it won't leave any residue at all on the, on the rod that you attach the laser cast to. Now take your first strip of tape and with, stretch it tightly and full two full wraps around the end of the laser as such. This will help the laser from spinning on the rod and will also protect the rod from the laser itself being fastened to it. Okay, so that's nice and tight on there. So now I'm going to grab my favorite rod Line up, if you want to use a reel, line it right up to the reel seat. Or you can take and just put it on any which way, however you're going to hold the rod. And then take the laser and fasten it securely to the rod with the laser activation button facing up. As such. Now we're going to take the other piece of tape that we had put on and tightly wrap it around the laser to secure it to the rod. Now that the laser is, is safely attached to the rod, I'll take the third piece of tape, push down the button, securely wrap this other third, the uh, third piece of tape around as so. That's going to hold the laser on. Ready to go. Now, to simply shut off the laser, you just carefully unwrap it. You can leave it all set up for your next time you want to practice in the comfort of your home.